Arcane. I finally got around to watching this show. I kept pushing it off. I don't have a history with League of Legends. I do not play the game. I played it once and I sucked at it so bad. First of all, I'm not a gamer, so obviously I would suck at it. But I also realized that under pressure, I just start pressing random buttons. I pushed it off because I also thought it would be tightly related to the game. I thought I would have to be experienced in like the lore of this whole universe to watch the show. But luckily, that that was not the case. This show is actually a self-contained story and that was a pleasant surprise because sometimes when you're required to know a lot of lore and have a lot of the background information, it's off-putting. I'm not signing up for that anymore, okay? <laughs> I'm like too old for this. Season two is coming soon. I'm like, I better watch season one. This is like the whole rings of power scenario all over again. But I'm happy to be able to say this experience was the complete opposite of rings of power. It took me a while to get into it. I thought it was going to be really complicated. It seemed really comp. There was a lot going on and the world seemed very new and interesting. And there were so many things that I was like, oh my God, am I going to be confused? My understanding of it grew. It made more sense as I continue to watch the show. The story story itself is actually really simple. Happens in the League world. I don't know how much it's tied to the game. I know the characters in the show are champions you can play in the game. And that's about it. There's the developed city called Piltover. And then underneath the city, there's another separate section called Zon. They're kind of like more poor and desolate. It's that wealth gap thing, isn't it? It's like the people in Piltover are rich at the expense of the people in Zon. And they've always had conflict across I don't even know how long, but it's a very standard setup. The two main characters are sisters, Violet and Jinx or powder as they called her when she was young. They were orphaned at a very young age and then they were adopted by this guy named Vander. He's kind of a well-respected leader type figure and he, he took in a lot of orphan kids and he was kind of a good guy. The relationships are a bit more complicated than I'm gonna go into. The story kind of begins when they're already kind of like teenagers. Violet, Vi, she's like the older sibling and she's kind of reckless. She's very tough, kind of has a hard time controlling her emotions. She gets angry but she's also a loving sister. Her younger sister, Jinx, is just trying to prove herself. It's like one of those where the younger siblings always living in the older sibling's shadow and they always have this feeling that they need to prove themselves or be of use to the group. Jinx just doesn't want to be the weakest link because she's the youngest and she hasn't really figured out her place in the world or even on the team. But Vi is like pretty lenient on her. She's like, oh, she's my younger sister and she's like very protective of Jinx. But there's this one incident that happens in like kind of the early stages in which Vander gets caught. He also has a younger brother. I don't know if they're related though. His name's Silco. He's not as nice as Vander. He actually wants to control the underground and he wants to gain independence because he's against the people of Piltover, taking all their resources and leaving them with nothing. He was like researching this drug called Shimmer and whenever you take it, you kind of go crazy. It like mutates your cells or something. So it's also used as a a drug to like heal you if you're injured but it also can give you like superhuman strength and make you resilient to a lot of things. Silco wanted Vander to be on his side but Vander was kind of against Silco because he's like I don't like the way you operate and so he captures Vander. Vi and her group they come to try and save him and then Jinx comes she wanted to go to help them but she ended up and kind of mess blows everything up like quite literally <laughs> she like blew everyone up Vi got really angry that was kind of like a turning point in this story after Vi got angry at Jinx she kind of had a meltdown and conveniently Silco was right there and she kind of just sided with Silco and he took her in adopted her the whole Silco Jinx relationship was probably one of my favorites he took her in when she was very young young and they have like this very close almost intimate bond like father daughter but also like I don't know it seemed like it seemed weird I was like there was a lot of weird relationships in this show I almost thought at one point that he was like grooming her and they were actually romantically involved thank god that wasn't the case I think it was more that he saw himself in her I don't know if he actually saw potential in her but eventually when she got older her bombs were working very well she became very good at 
getting what she wanted, but at the same time, she had a lot of mental issues. She's kind of against Vi now, so that's why we have like this sister rivalry. It's kind of a sister rivalry. I mean, Vi is still caring for Jinx. She felt really bad for like getting angry at her. Vi thinks that Powder is still somewhere inside of Jinx and she can still bring her out. I think in the end, that end scene told us that Jinx was already reached the point of no return. That's like the main story. We also have a side main story that happens in Piltover where we have this other character named Jace who is into magic. There's magic in this universe, but it doesn't seem like magic. At first I thought it was going to be actual like wizard magic, but it's more like technology. The council at Piltover, especially Heimerdinger, he was against it because he has seen what magic can do. It's powerful. Sometimes it can get out of control. But Jace was like, this could like change our lives. And he ended up convincing everyone as well as his friend, crippled guy named Victor, Jace's partner in all of this. And they we're researching magic. And they came up with like hex tech. And then like over the years, Piltover flourished even more because of hex tech. And it sort of made me wonder, is magic just technology that we haven't invented yet? I don't know. I feel like if you were to put our tech today, back a hundred years, people would think it was magic or maybe magic is still magic. What is magic? What the heck is magic? There's also a character named Caitlyn. She was like Jace's friend. I thought Jace and Caitlyn were a thing until Jace started sleeping with the black lady on the council and then Caitlyn and Vi became a couple. Yeah, I don't know. See, I, I feel like I just don't understand this show. I'm like trying to explain it. It's really complicated. I feel like it's complicated. The details are complicated. The overarching story is simple and easy to follow. So we have like another one of those gray situations where it's like there's no real protagonist, antagonist. Everyone's just kind of fighting for their own cause. As the viewer, as the audience, we're shown how characters develop and what sort of experiences built their values and why they're trying to achieve whatever they're trying to do. So that all made sense. And that's what made this show really great. And also just seeing the world, the world was really cool. I kept trying to think, I'm like, what is the end goal? What is the end game of this show? What are we trying to do? Are we trying to actually resolve the conflict? Or is this conflict between Piltover and Zahn going to keep continuing? Oh yeah, I t totally forgot to talk about Victor. He was like dying from his disease or whatever was happening to him. But apparently Hextech also has the the ability to I don't even know what he was doing oh my god I don't know this show but he was like trying to do something to save himself there's so many interesting details of this show I think I would need to rewatch it or like kind of read up on it if I want to catch everything because I'm I clearly don't know what I'm talking about there's a lot of interesting things you can really pull out of it and a lot of discussions you could have about it as well but yeah just sitting here waiting for season two